I started developing sort of gas and bloating. Um, initially, I thought it was either diet or, you know, with everything that was going on in the world, maybe a bit of stress or something. Um, then in October, sort of mid-October, um, I started getting cramps, like abdominal cramps. Um, they didn't go away after a couple of weeks and actually got worse. So my family were very much, okay, you really need to go and see a doctor because this isn't normal. And then at the beginning of uh, January uh, 2021, they diagnosed me with uh, stage three bowel cancer. So I was diagnosed with breast cancer in um, 2021, in the height of COVID, um, because I found a lump in my breast. And I thought, hmm, that's a bit unusual. And I left it a couple of weeks and it was still there. And I thought I need to go and get this checked out. So I got in touch with my GP, talked it through, and they said straight away, we're going to refer you to the breast clinic. Um, and yeah, it was confirmed then, it was, it was breast cancer. So the aim and the benefits of the campaign really is that we know, myself included and my friends included, we're all a bit frightened of cancer. And actually we know that 83%, that's more than four out of five of us, if we catch the signs of cancer early, is completely curable. And of course, a lot of the time when we're worried and we see our GPs and their teams, it's nothing actually, everything is normal. So we're really encouraging people to come forward and not be scared and also find out more about it so the bus and we're here today at East London Moss just to help people uh, answer any questions that they might have. The NHS busing campaign is a campaign um, which is part of the help us to help yourselves um, and it's a campaign that the East London Mosque is supporting. Um, it's about um, raising awareness of early signs of cancer so Early signs of cancer means that people can be treated um, quite soon. Um, during the pandemic, people have not had access to GP services and um, they haven't detected um, or known what to do when they detect early signs. So we're here today to promote it so that our community know um, what to look out for and get help um, very soon and save lives. So we all wonder what the warning signs are of cancer and it's not surprising because there are so many. I'm going to go through a few now. So if we've had a cough for more than three weeks and time just flies, we're all busy. We often think three weeks isn't long, but actually if we've had a cough for more than three weeks, we should come forward and speak to our GP teams. If we've had any blood in our wee wee or our poo poo, our urine or our stools, definitely come forward even if that's just once. If we've got any lumps, if we're losing weight without trying to lose weight, um, if we've got tummy pain for more than three weeks or we're feeling more bloated for more than three weeks. And finally, I would say if your body just doesn't feel right, something feels a bit wrong, don't worry, you're not wasting anybody's time. Come forward. I'm Ryan Riley. I'm the founder of Life Kitchen, which is a multi-award winning cookery class for people living with cancer. I got into it through my mother's illness. I was 18 when she was diagnosed with small cell lung cancer. There were a couple of signs there, but we didn't really know about any of them. And by the time we did, she was on holiday on a cruise with her leg blew up and suddenly we needed to figure out what that was. Um, straight to a diagnosis of um, small cell lung cancer. The, the NHS asked me to you know, share my story and, and basically spread the message that you know, with cancer affecting one in two people uh, within their lifetime, it's so vitally important that people take any kind of symptom or abnormality um, seriously, like get to know your body. And if there is something that is you know, wrong or unusual, go and see your GP because the sooner you do that um, it might not be cancer but it might be and if it is then it's important that it's found early but if it isn't there's still something wrong and that can be fixed too. And I just think the earlier you get a diagnosis the more treatable it is. I've seen all different stages all different types of cancer and for me it's extremely important that people are aware that they're not bothering their GP they've got to go they've got to get it we have one life you know and you know things are going to inevitably go wrong in your life you're going to get illnesses one in two will get cancer in their lifetime or be affected by it in some way so for me it's just about really trying to push this campaign forward use my profile and the profile of life kitchen to kind of 
help people really engage with um, what the NHS is trying to achieve. For me personally, I think it's really important that we look after our health and it's actually a duty for us to look after our health if we think about the Quranic verse that to save one life is to save the whole of humanity and that includes saving our own lives. So the Help Us Help You campaign, this particular tour, we're sad to say is finishing, but we've always got cancer awareness things going on. If people are concerned at all, I'd say please reach out to your GP practices. I know it's sometimes hard to get an appointment, but cancer is one of our top priorities. And of course our GP practices now have our nurses as well as our doctors, physicians associate, lots and lots of people to help you. So please don't worry about wasting anybody's time. Cancer caught early, save lives.